Okay, so <clears throat> I'm just doing a, an entry, uh, just documenting things. Um, I just... Okay, I think I can do it now. Um, I just came from the ophthalmologist um, and uh, I was wanting to get an eye exam uh, because I still cannot just pick up a book and just read a book or go out on the boat for an extended amount of time. Um, I, can, I can pick something up. Oh. I can pick something up and I can just kind of like, oh, that doesn't show up anyway. I can I can read like fast read or do like a, a short paragraph, but I can't like read pages in a book yet because the tracking with my eyes is a problem. Um, I can, with my eyes closed or my eyes open, I can do like big figure eights with my eyes. I don't have any problems with that. The arches where you follow, like you can do left and right, or the arches left to right like that. That hurts so bad. It feels like all the muscles in my eyes are just too tight. And also going diagonal from up and down like this. So I have problems with this, this, and this, and then this for an extended amount of time. No problems with this. Do have problems with this because with this you've got that arch up there. Um, so I I wanted to see my ophthalmologist to have them look into my eyes just to see because it's well over a year now since the accident and I just wanted to see like well you know like is there do my eye muscles check out like. Are, is that system okay or is there a problem and um, so what happens when I am say like out on a boat and the landscape is there hold on <laughs> Stuart's here with me. Um, so what happens is I'll get real nauseated. It's I've never had motion sickness. It's what I would imagine mo motion, motion sickness feels like where you're just super nauseous. You get anxiety, um, headache, and you feel like you're going to pass out. Or, you know, it, it can cause seizures, which that would not be part of motion sickness. But... Um, it's just, you know, it's like, okay, I'm not, I, I'm not able to function at this yet and I just want to get checked out to see if everything's okay. So I went and um, I was, um, when, <laughs> I'm having a hard time getting words out. Um, come here, Stuart, come talk for me. He loves the camera. Come sit. Tell the story. Story? Well, tell what what happened. So, like, I'm giving the girl my medical information, and then she has me just do a quick, like, just check the eyes. But I wasn't there to really have my, well, whatever. So, when... She had me with my eyes, with my glasses off. I was going to say my eyes off. <laughs> she had me with my glasses off and holding, you know, the thing to like read. My right eye is worse than my left eye. Um, I, I just I couldn't see. And it brought on a seizure. So you tell that part because... I'm not even really with it when I'm having the seizures. So, 
you start reading the small one, and then you start the seas. Uh, Explain what the seas is. What it looks like from your point of view watching it. I don't know. You just kind of go out of it and start shaking. And oh, you uh, you yelled. Oh. Yeah, it's it's not a pretty yell. <laughs> uh, you started yelling, and the like, doctor. I, guess, I don't know if she's a doctor, but uh, the lady. The tech. Yeah, the tech. Uh, you know, started to like hold you, uh, but you started like slipping down the chair, so she just kind of got. Because I get rigid. Yeah, you. She just get, guided you down the chair onto the ground while holding your head. Uh, and then she told me to call Nikki, which was one of the other techs, into the room. And then she called 911. Uh, that was about when you came out of it. And then uh, you had one more mini seizure before uh, like any uh, medical came. Yeah. And then I, once once they got there, my my seizures seem to be clustered. I don't typically have just one, but there might be one that's stronger, and then I have like waves of them come through. Yeah. Would you say that's accurate? Yeah. Okay. So um, keep going. So yeah, once the medical got there, you had, and you know they wanted to like check your vitals and everything. Uh, like the moment they got there, you had another mini one. Uh, and then that passed pretty quickly, and then they took your vitals, uh... My blood pressure was high, go figure. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's normal. Yeah. And then you had one more mini while they were doing that, uh... And then the fire department people came, I guess. They also had to take your vitals, and during that, I think you stopped two mini ones on your own. I try. Fine. <laughs> and if I look at Stuart, I can see in his eyes he's going, belly breathe, belly breathe, relax. <laughs> Is that what you're thinking? Uh, yeah, so they were saying I had a seizure and then a grand mal. Is that what they, they said? They One said seizure, grand, grand mal, and then two or three, three other seizures. Three, three more. Three? Okay. Yeah. So, you know, they're like, okay, you know, you're signing you that you don't want to go, you're you're aware of their risk, and I'm like, there's no risk in not going. Well, I'm going to end up in the hospital and then just be discharged and have to pay a ton of money, and there's nothing anybody can do. Like, I hate even wasting their time to come, but I understand from the area of the, um, the business of the eye specialist, they have to cover their butts that they cut, they called and you know, that I got checked out fully and it's on me and not them. So I get that, but that's it. I was just trying to, um, do the journal. Um, so the doctor is now refusing to see me because he's saying that he, he would not even be able to help me. I have to go see a neural optometrist is that right or ophthalmologist I don't know optometrist yeah. ophthalmologist what's the difference is one just glasses and one is I don't know okay. so so I see my neurologist on the 20 on the 31st so I think I have to get a referral from him anyway so um, but it looks like I would have to travel to Tampa. That guy gets to drive me. Yeah, that's not going to be great fun. But a good driving experience for him. Isn't he cute? Look how handsome my Stuart is. I love him. I like your hair. Yeah, I like his hair. All right, thank you. Thanks for taking good care of me. All right, that's it.